Shout out to Leonice Williamson for sending me this story. And it's coming out of it's coming out of Massachusetts. And just reading the title reminded me so much of a very infamous story that happened back in the 90s. James Bird. You never and if y'all remember that name and that name sounds familiar, you should know where I'm headed with this story. So in this picture, you see a man by the name of Henry Tapia. He's he was 35 years old from and say from Boston. And we, we've heard horror stories about the racism that occurs in Boston. Boston is like the Jim Crow of the North. But basically, he was the victim of a road rage incident where this palm colored man by the name of uh, Dean Capsulis, 54 years old, ran him over and then dragged his body afterwards. That's why I said it reminds me so much of James Bird. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article and see what else they're talking about here. And by the way, they said that he has now been charged with murder. A Hudson man accused of striking and killing a black man with his pickup truck after an alleged road rage incident in Belmont, during which he allegedly yelled a racial slur at the victim, is now being charged with murder. Dean Capsulis, age 54, is also being charged with leaving the scene, causing death, according to the Middlesex County District Attorney's Office. Capsulis has already been arraigned on charges of a civil rights violation causing injury, assault and battery with a dangerous weapon and leaving the scene causing injury in the death of 34 year old Henry Tapia of Boston, a father of three. Capsulus was arraigned on the new charges in Cambridge District Court on Monday. He was being held without bail and is scheduled to return to court on March 1st. Last Wednesday, Capsulus and Tapia were reportedly engaged in a verbal altercation on Upland Road following a road rage incident. Capsulus allegedly yelled a racial slur at Tapia before striking him and dragging him with his pickup truck and then fleeing the scene as Tapia laid in the street with life-threatening injuries. Tapia was taken to Massachusetts General Hospital and pronounced dead. Tapia was remembered during a candlelight vigil on Friday. An online fundraiser to help held to benefit his family described him as a gentle giant a loyal friend with a big unforgettable smile and an even bigger heart even in just his photographs his smile graces us this evening because a smile could truly light up a room sarah billadu of community organized for solidarity an activist group <clears throat> centered on fighting for racial justice said during the vigil he we will always remember him for his smile that's crazy, <clears throat> but it reminds but it reminds me so much of, like I said, with um James Bird. Now I'm gonna go ahead and read this other article that has a little bit more information. Um, it says that, and this one is coming from the Atlanta Black Star. Now this one says that he's 35. The other article said he was 34. So I'm not sure which one is actually correct. They said he that this capsulist guy, he fled the scene. He turned himself in about 30 minutes after the fact. It says we cannot and will not tolerate behavior that is rooted in racial bias and, and meant to discriminate. Middlesex County District Attorney Marion Ryan told reporters during a January press conference because it is not only the victims and their families who suffer, but it's all of us. The hate crime capsulist faces carries a minimum. I'm sorry, maximum 10 year prison sentence. Ryan said the investigation is still ongoing. Massachusetts State Police are reconstructing the crash, crash and analyzing evidence. And the DA suggested more serious charges could be forthcoming. Now, that's very interesting. It said the hate crime charges faces a maximum of 10 years. You would think it would be way, way more than that. But they also said that he has those murder charges on top of him as well. So it looks like they're going to have to really push for those murder charges because it sounds to me like that could be the one that will get him life in prison the throwing the, the hate crime on top of it that'll be just the icing on the cake it is possible that there will be other charges and it is also possible that there will be an enhancement of some of those charges with respect to civil rights violations ryan said the tragedy disrupted the quiet of belmont devastating and sparking outrage among the small town citizens hundreds turned out thursday to commemorate tapia's life during a community vigil less than a mile from where the fatal crash took place 
A family friend told the NPR affiliate Tappy was just a block from home when the tragic ordeal unfolded. The man's younger brother, David Tappy, said he wasn't surprised the level of violence may have been motivated by racism. Like I said, they're near Boston. In Massachusetts. I feel like if it was police brutality, it would be nationwide. Like, oh, another African-American male got shot. He said, but this time, another racist civilian attacked another black Latino, an Afro-Latino. And I feel the word isn't getting spread enough. It's another racist act. Henry Tapia's children and life partner, Courtney Morton, also attended the vigil Thursday. I will die being the love of his life, Morton told WBUR. I will fight for him because he couldn't continue to fight from all the damage done. He's my rock, and I'm going to show him that, and I'm going to be the soldier he wanted me to be. The couple were working, to bu- working towards buying their first house together when Henry Tapia died, according to Boston.com. A GoFundMe page was set up on Morton's behalf, had raised more than $128,000 in just three days. According to the district attorney's office, Henry Tapia and Capsulist locked horns. Shortly before 4.22 p.m., Ryan said they had no previous history and their dispute simply appeared to be a tragic encounter of traffic. Both men got out of their vehicles and began arguing on Upland Road. Witnesses told investigators Capsulist unloaded racial slurs as the verbal altercation appeared to be ending and and Tapia walking back to his car. News report indicate Capsulist called him the N-word. Capsulist got back into his pickup truck and intentionally barreled toward Tapia, who was standing at the driver's side of his Honda Civic, according to an official statement. Capsulist then dragged Tapia a short distance before fleeing the scene. Tapia would yet yeah, see that point. At that point, that has to be first degree murder because he intentionally dragged him. He got in his, his pickup truck, saw him walking back and then ran him over. What a coward he is. Because he knew probably looking at this man's stature. At his physical bill, he would uh, that, that um Henry Tapia would have uh, knocked his wig back. He said, but it was evident that his injuries were life threatening. Paramedics spent about 17 minutes trying to stabilize him at the crash site before transporting him to the hospital. Tapia died there a short time later. The district attorney noted an increase of such racially motivated incidents across the country over the past year and said capsulist slurs were meant to intimidate and threaten Tapia. We are reminded that incidents like this are allegedly born of hateful speech, have a long-lasting impact on families, friends, and our neighbors here in this community. Capsulist was arraigned in Cambridge District Court on January 20th, and he pled not guilty. Well, he got a lot of nerve. Judge Robert Harnius ordered him to be held pending a dangerousness hearing, which will determine whether he's a danger to society. That hearing is scheduled for uh 11 a.m monday which i'm certain has already passed particularly at this moment at this time to have an incident of this nature happen in what is such a warm welcoming community is jarring massachusetts state rep david rogers said it's shocking and we condemn it with the strongest possible terms and our heart goes out to the top of your family see like i said not far removed from their ancestors And they said this guy is 54. So he was born in the 60s. So there's that. But that's messed up, though. That's, you know, now this seems like this might be another story I'm going to have to tack on. And try to keep out there in the, uh, in the atmosphere. Because it'll probably get buried otherwise. Like many stories of this nature. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you haven't done so already. Please text the number that is pinned in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video and I will talk to you in the next one.